Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Hunters. Today I have an exciting tutorial for you guys. I am going to design a monogram logo by the letter of S and T logo and shield. In this tutorial, I will show you how to perfectly make a shield logo design for your company or freelancing work. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. First take ellipse tool. And draw a circle. Turn off the fill color. Now select the circle. Friends I'm going to make a shield by the circle. If you know how to make shield, you can ignore this part. Hold alter. Place the circle on half of the existing circle like that. Again select the circle, and place it below of the two circle. Now select the top two circle. And make it vertical align top, and group it. Now select everything. Make it horizontal align center. Okay, that's good. Take shape builder tool, and delete the extra parts by hold alter. As you can see friends, I have designed the shield very easily. So this is how you can easily make shield. Now I will design T and S letter in the shield. If I take brush tool, and draw T and S letter, I think you guys better understand. For design this logo, we need 8 lines. So take line segment tool, and draw a line. Copy the line by hold alter. And make it total 8 lines by hold control and pressing D. Okay, that's good. Now select all lines, and make it middle a line, and group it. Now select everything, and make it middle align center. Now select the shield, and make it equal to line like that. Make sure your shield is perfect placed on line. Now select the shield, and copy it. For copy, go edit, select copy, again go edit, and select paste in place. Now make it smaller to one line like that. As you can see friends, the top width is more thick than the bottom part, and that's why this is not perfect way to design shield logo. So how to design shield logo perfectly? Don't worry, I will show you everything about the shield logo. So, first delete this. Now take line segment tool. And draw a line from first line to second line, Find the distance between the two line. As you can see, there is 13.28 px gap between the two lines. So keep it note because we need it for designing the shield logo. If you don't see the gap between them, first select the line, then go transform, and you will see the gap. Now select the shield, and go object, select path, select offset path, and right here minus 13.28. Then click on OK. As you can see friends, this shield perfectly placed. And the top and bottom is equal. So keep in mind this technique always while designing shield logo. Now select the line, and copy it. For copy, go edit, select copy, again go edit, and select paste in place. Now go transform, and rotate the lines 340 degree like that. Ok friends, I have organized everything for designing the shield logo. Now select everything.
Take Shape Builder Tool and draw the logo letter T and S on the shield grid. Friends, carefully fill up the gap otherwise your design will not be perfect. As you can see friends, I have designed the logo. Now I need to move the design above from the line. But for this, before I need to ungroup each part of the logo, you don't need to ungroup each and every part, do for this part which already grouped with another. Now hold shift, and select the design, and move it above from the line like that. Ok, that's good. Now turn off the stroke weight. Now I will make a gap these part for making the design more readable and understandable. But there are many ways to do it, but I will show you the best way to do it, and it result will be 100% accurate. First select these two part. Now go object, and select path, then select offset path. Now determine how much gap do you want. I think, 7px is perfect for that logo. Then click on OK. Select everything. Take Shape Builder tool, and remove this part. Now delete this part. And select T letter bottom part, go object. Select path, and select offset path and then click on OK. Again select everything, and take Shape Builder tool, and delete this part by hold alter. Also delete the extra parts. OK, that's good. Now select the design, and increase the stroke weight for making the design more professional. I think 3px is looking perfect. You don't need to keep 3px, you can increase or decrease as you need. Now select the design. Go object, and select expand. Now go pathfinder, and make it united. Ok, that's good. So friends, here's our finished shield logo. I hope you loved watching this design come to life. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more creative content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and keep unleashing your creativity.